How to Fake God Rays in Blender Without Using Any Volumetrics. You can do that by opening Blender, deleting the default cube, then add any shape, a cube, a cylinder, or a cone. We can scale the mesh around to make the top end narrower, maybe give it a bit of height, then, in edit mode, delete the top and bottom faces. I will also add a couple of cuts and shade smooth the mesh before we jump into the shading. The method works on both engines, but cycles show it better, so we will go with it. And once you're done, open a shading window like we did and hit new to get a material on this mesh. The main thing we need is the noise texture. So hit shift A to add one, then I can view it on the object with control shift click. It's still far from what we need as light beams, and fixing that is easy if we add a texture coordinate, then plug its normal, the object normal, into the noise. Now if you add this and things still look weird, then make sure you did the last step where we added the cuts and shade smoothed the mesh, because that was essential for getting this result. The two things we need from the principal BSDF are the alpha and the emission. The emission is for the light, so we will put it at one for now and leave it alone. The mess we will add from now on will go into the alpha input in the BSDF to shape this cylinder or cone as beams. The main shape is there, but it's too sharp, so we will fix it using two color mix nodes set to multiply. The first mix will have the noise at top and a separate XYZ node at bottom, or the A and B inputs. You can switch them, but mind the factor. We need the Z from the separate node to make the top and bottom fade out. So plug the texture coordinate generated output into its vector and use Control Shift to view it directly. Then use a color ramp node to modify the fading area. We need it to fade at the top and bottom, which is the black color on the ramp. So hit the small plus icon on the color ramp to add a third marker or whatever you call this arrow slider and make two of them black on the corners. The third middle one will be white and try to move it closer to one end to make the brightest area closer to the light source. Once you're done, switch the ramp from linear to ease and connect it to the mix color. The second mix will be for the sides, and this time we need the layer weight facing. You can play with the blend value, but the effect might be opposite to what we want, cause the black area will fade out in the alpha, so connect it to the second mix. Then use an invert node to flip the black and white in it. You can switch the noise texture to 4D, then animate the W value to get some movements back there. So just select the W field and use a driver with the shortcut hashtag frame slash number. The bigger the number, the slower the movement, cause some need to focus. Now smash that emission strength to around 2 or 3, maybe even play with the colors with a color ramp to get a variety of weird stuff. I will leave that to you. If you're on Blender 4.3 by any chance, you can replace the noise with a Gabor texture, which by itself sounds weird, but can give a similar result with different options, so give it a chance. The noise texture does also have other types inside to explore. The second one might go nice for underwater light rays, so have fun with it. And that's it. Remember to like and subscribe, cause why not? and see you next time. Stay sharp. Goodbye.